The New Year step up is better than we could have ever imagined. But should you summon? How's it, everybody? Celtic Link here. We're back for another Dokkan battle video. In today's video, we are taking a look at the New Year's Dokkan Festival step up summoning and answering that age old question should you summon on this? Banner. As always, we're going to take a look at what's featured on the banner, determine of whether or not those things featured are worth the summon itself. We'll take a look at the banner in its entirety, see if that makes anything worth it, and then finally we'll take a look at what lies ahead to determine whether or not summoning on this banner may affect your future summoning. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop on in. First and foremost, let's clarify a few things about the step up. So this year, instead of one step up summons, we have two. A New Year's Extreme Dokkan Festival step up summon and a New Year's Super Dokkan Festival summon. So basically the way this works is for 200 stones, you can summon on one, two, three, four, and five steps. On step one, for 20 steps, you will gain one super class EZA leader, and we'll go over who those are in a second. One potential LR on step two for 30 stones, totaling in 50 for the two steps. Then at 50 stones apiece, starting from step three, you can get one of the previous category leaders. At step four, you can gain one LR character, guaranteed. And then at step five, one category leader, guaranteed. These are from the newest Dokkan Festival. So if you take a look at the banner in its entirety, this is everything that is technically featured on the banner that can be pulled at any given moment. It's a pretty small pool compared to everything. So this is the super side of things, and this is the extreme side of things. Same rules still apply. The extreme side's a little bit bigger, but nonetheless, um, the rules are still the same. Now, the way it works basically is that each step you're guaranteed a certain amount of characters, right? So on step one, you can get anyone from Blue Kaioken Goku, Gohan, Piccolo, um, Trunks, and AGL Gogeta. Starting from step two on the Superclass banner, you can pick up Spirit Bomb Goku, Int God Goku, Kalen Caulifla, Trunks, Goten, uh, Trunks, Goku, and Pan, Trunks and Mai, STR Beerus and Whis, and Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Arguably the worst on this for global, although he's probably getting an easy A on JP. At step three, we're going to pick up the 2022 Dokkan festivals, right? We got Imchop, Int Yamcha, Path to Power Kid Goku, Pan, the ROF Blues, STR Goku, uh, Fizz Goku, and for the first time ever, a Dokkan Festival LR with the EZA AGL LR Gohan. On step five, we can get the some of the more recent LRs, Bulma, uh, we can pick up... Goku and Gohan, we can pick up Goku and Piccolo, Kaioken Goku, AGL Trunks and Gohan, and AGL Krillin and Gohan. Pretty decent list here, pretty small pool compared to previous years. And then finally, on the final step, the uh, you can pick up tournament, uh, World Tournament Goku, Kale, God Goku, Bardock, and the 2022 worldwide celebration unit the agl super saiyan so this is interesting we have dfe lr something we did not expect but nonetheless happy so it's uh, on this 10th unit of each of these guaranteed multis you are guaranteed one of the units featured here on the extreme side of things for the first round we are getting anyone from cooler zamas broly Int Goku Black, AGL Metal Cooler, Super Boo, or Golden Frieza, all guaranteed on the first step. Step two, we can get AGL Nappa and uh, Vegeta, although they are not easy aid on Global, they will be easy aid in here soon. Int Rose, the Fizz Androids, AGL Baby, who should be getting his easy aid by the end of January, Fizz Cell, Tech Goku Black and Zamas, and STR Full Power Frieza. Beginning on step three, you can pick up previous 200% uh, leaders for the extreme side. Cell, Raditz, Ginyu, Kid Buu, the Tech Androids, Broly, and Int Cell for the Dokkan Festival LRs. On step four, we can pick up last year's extreme LRs, AGL Buu, uh, Golden Frieza, Int Zamas. Um, we can pick up 
Hit and God Goku and Great Ape Vegeta from the seventh anniversary. Um, also, Fizz Janemba and and Vegeta and Goku. So pretty good pull there. A little bit more than the super side of things, but still not bad. The final step will guarantee anyone up to Turles, Piccolo Jr., STR 17 and 17, LR Cooler, and Int Majin Vegeta. After three rounds of summoning on this, it returns to a normal banner for regular 50 stones. Nothing special, nothing guaranteed. Um, now, what's interesting is this. You will get red coins for summoning. However, you will not be able to use those red coins to exchange for any units on this banner, unfortunately. So, we've looked at the banner in its entirety. So, unfortunately, there's no specific character we can look at on here to justify uh, a summon because it is the New Year step up. So, instead, what we're going to take a look at here is the recent Dokkan Fest, right? Goku, Kale, God Goku, Path to Power Goku, um, on the extreme side of things, 17, Turles, Piccolo Jr., LR Cooler, right? If you were missing any of these, there is definite value on this banner, as many of these are not going to return for quite some time, right? The LRs won't return till Anniversary on Global, which is in July. World Tournament Goku is not probably going to return until April, God Goku will return in March, um, possibly sooner, depending on how they lay out these banners. But a lot of these other units, we're probably not going to see it for a while. So with that in mind, I would say if you are a newer player who missed out on some of these newer Dokkan festivals, then there is definite value in summoning on this. So I'm going to say that's one in the category for any one of those specific units if you were missing them, right? There is definite value in a guaranteed shot at them. Them, especially when you consider that just because they're guaranteed in a specific slot they can technically be pulled at any point right you could do your first 20 stone multi here on the very first one and pick up world tournament goku even though he's not part of the guarantees for that step right um with that in mind let's take a look again the banner in its entirety there's a lot of value to this banner for a newer player right the ability to pick up lr cooler before july will really help out many newer players who maybe didn't get him during anniversary or worldwide same goes for piccolo jr turles still adds a lot of value many players skipped turles so if you skip turles with the intent on summoning on the step up banner then this is a definite plus for you so I'm going to give it one in the category of summon for the character and two in the category of summon for the banners. The banners are extremely valuable with who's available, right? The God Goku, even though he's returning in a month or in two months, still value to the banner, right? Same goes for the characters on the extreme side. Now, unfortunately, this costs 200 stones to do a full step and you can't do both right um depending on how many stones you have is going to determine what you can do so you do have to kind of look at which is going to be more valuable for you the extreme side or the super side right now if you were to do all three rotations on either banner it would cost you 600 stones if you were to do both banners it would be 1200 stones i don't particularly recommend everybody do that but if you were to do one in one 300 stones probably not bad for building a new account Count. However, if you were to do that, what are you possibly giving up in the near future? Well, first and foremost, we know that the next banner to come to Global on the 2nd of January is going to be the Tech Super Trunks. So, everything that's featured on the step up is featured here. Majin Vegeta, 17, right? They are featured on the banner. These guys, I mean, are more or less fodder until they get their easy A. HL Gohan still has some value, but I mean, you're not missing much by choosing to summon on the step up instead of this. As much of a Super Trunks fan as I am, I would still say you're not missing much by summoning on the step up instead of this banner. Following him, the next banner we should see is the LR Omega banner. I've said this a dozen, a thousand times. There is no value to this banner. Omega is in a very bad place right now because there are just 
no good GT hero or GT boss units to run next to him, right? What you see here is what there is. So um, until that changes, there isn't much value in Omega himself. I do see them possibly swapping out Goku for maybe the LR trio or Kai Goku and Kid Gohan to entice players to summon. But even then, even with this also being a double raids, I still see better to use your coins on those characters if you need them than to try to summon here for uh, Omega. It just doesn't seem very worth it. Following these guys, we will get one of two Dokkan Fests, either Gohan and Piccolo for the month of February, or Tournament of Power Androids. Whichever comes uh, first, the opposite will be in March. I do think Tournament of Power Androids are going to be in February, it makes the most sense given that their part two is Ribrianne and February is Valentine's Day. It's a good chance that's what's coming there. So, uh, knowing that, the Tournament of Power androids are probably going to be. I mean, not. I mean, they're good, but they suffer the same fate as Omega, right? Universal Survival Saga just isn't at the place it needs to be to run them effectively. Not yet. It will be soon, though, I'm sure. The banner does have some value. It does have Kale. It does have God Goku. It does have Path to Power Kid Goku. But again, all of these are also on the step up. So, I mean, you wouldn't be losing much summoning on the step up if these are what you were after on the Tournament of Power Androids banner, right? So, not much loss there. Um, and even then, in the month of February, probably a good chance for most global players to start uh, saving them. Following them is uh, Ribrianne, uh, LR Ribrianne. Now, I don't have her banner bolt up. Up, but there's nothing on her banner aside from Bulma that is of value and she will have pity coins available but I still don't think she's going to be worth your summon even given all that if you need to coin Bulma but otherwise you know steer clear of that banner there isn't much other value to them again Ribrianne needing to be around other universe 2 allies you know she does support she does do a lot of good things that are helpful for universal survival saga but the team in its entirety still needs a lot of work before before it can run cohesively. So definitely not much you're losing there. Following them, right, should be the Gohan and Piccolo banner. There's a lot of value to this banner. Turles uh, returns, Yamcha returns, Gohan and Piccolo themselves are very good. But again, with these two, they're also on the step up. So you're not losing much. Now this will also be the banner pre Saiyan Day. Now Saiyan Day will begin on March 18th and that banner will look a lot like this, right? We'll get a new Dokkan Festival unit, but God Goku will return on that banner and more than likely super full power Saiyan for Goku. So this banner is gonna be a big summon for most players, right? I think between now and March, this is probably the banner most global players are going to be looking for. So that's three months time, right? That's plenty of time to rebuild 200 stones if you were to use it on one of these step ups so no knowing what lies ahead i don't think there's going to be much loss in spending 200 stones on one of the step ups whichever is most valuable for you that's the way i frame it i don't think either banner is particularly more valuable than the other given that it's really about what your box needs if your box needs extreme units then this banner is really good for you if your box needs super units right if your box needs goku or goku this banner is good for you it's really going to depend on what your box needs so knowing that and knowing what lights ahead i can give this a full summon um for most players right if you are a new player year one to year three i would say you're probably going to benefit from this banner even if it is only collecting dupes for some of these units i know that sounds crazy summoning for dupes most people don't recommend that but right in the current meta that we're in where units are bosses are hitting as hard as they do dupes add stats to your units those stats add to the overall damage you you uh reduce right as you fight so i mean picking up a dupe isn't the worst thing in the world even if you only needed one or two units from one of these banners so realistically i would say if you're a one to three year player there is no harm in doing a 200 stone rotation on either of the banner heck i would even recommend doing one and one on each banner if you want to go for a second go for it i did do a 600 full rotation on my first year doing it and it really helped me fill out my box but you know it really is going to depend on what your box needs if you're a veteran player you're three or beyond um i would say Say be wary look at what you're missing from the banner assess the banner and decide which one's the bigger value to you and 
do a rotation on it. It really can't hurt you. Unless, of course, you have everything rainbowed. If you're a veteran player who has everything rainbowed, then obviously there is very little uh, value uh, in this banner to you. I know many of you saved last year and skipped a lot of these Dokkan Festival units on either the Super or the Extreme side. Probably more so on the Extreme side, so definitely having them guaranteed possibility uh, on this banner is definitely good for most players. So all in all, I do give this banner a thumbs up on the summon uh, right it passes all three categories there's an insane amount of value to this banner no matter what year you're playing in dupes are always useful a new player can definitely utilize a lot of these units to help fill out their box and clear out the event so normally i do a tiered recommendation based on stones but in this case i am not my recommendation was exactly as i said before it's based on the number of years and what your box needs that is where you will find value on this banner so guys that is it for the video if you like the video make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already and in the comments down below let me know which banner did you decide to summon on and what did you get i will probably not do a rotation on the banner until after i have done my trunk summons um however we will probably try to pick up some of these extreme units like i could definitely use more copies of junior and turles so i may do a rotation on this banner we'll see um but guys that's it for the video if nothing else thanks for watching and aloha